Module 6, Planning Interdisciplinary Collaboration in Teaching Hello and welcome. In this module, we will be talking about planning interdisciplinary collaboration in teaching. To understand interdisciplinarity, we will start by differentiating it from the multidisciplinary and the transdisciplinary approaches. We will summarize the advantages and the challenges of interdisciplinarity and enumerate its different approaches to teaching. We will then connect interdisciplinarity to education for sustainable development and explain factors that promote an interdisciplinary approach to ESD. Let us start by defining what is interdisciplinary collaboration. To understand interdisciplinarity, it is important to distinguish it from other terms, which sometimes are used interchangeably, but have different meanings. Let us begin addressing the meaning of multidisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity. Multidisciplinarity means moving between subjects or disciplines obtaining an understanding of a problem from different perspectives. However, it requires little integration of concepts from the different subjects. In its turn, transdisciplinarity incorporates knowledge from stakeholders or non-academic fonts, transcending their boundaries, and going beyond curricular subjects. The key term in this module is interdisciplinarity. It combines concepts and methods from different subjects to solve a problem. Interdisciplinarity analyzes and synthesizes the contributions of different disciplines building a coherent whole. It embraces different perspectives on complex phenomena, enhancing comprehension and search for possible solutions. In a nutshell, an approach is multidisciplinary when subjects work in parallel towards common goals, transdisciplinary when subjects have no limits between them, and interdisciplinary when subjects work in an integrated manner. What are the advantages of interdisciplinarity? By including the views from different subjects, interdisciplinarity increases our ability to understand complex phenomena. Themes are covered in more depth, fed by diverse perspectives. Interdisciplinarity also improves critical thinking and creativity as it involves comparing different viewpoints and thinking how they can contribute to a given problem. In addition, it facilitates problem solving as it blends areas of expertise which can contribute distinctively to a complex problem. In education, there are factors that may hinder the implementation of interdisciplinarity, such as the education assessment model, which holds teachers accountable for students' results, discouraging the implementation of new ideas, insufficient time, as teachers need time to work collaboratively and to plan integrated curricula, and narrow knowledge base that impedes teachers from thinking broadly on how to interconnect subjects. Other factors may be the absence of a common interdisciplinary language and the segmented allocation of resources. There are different ways of implementing and practicing interdisciplinarity in education. Interdisciplinarity takes multiple forms and structures, varying from a single teacher to a team of teachers, from interconnecting two disciplines to involving an entire school. However, quality practices in interdisciplinarity share a couple of approaches that can be widely applied. Interdisciplinarity follows a thematic approach so that subjects serve as tools for learning about a specific theme or problem, which, in turn, addresses cross-curricular issues that need the complementary contribution of different disciplines. Teachers are seen as facilitators that guide students, organizing activities around central themes and help make connections. In interdisciplinarity teachers learn from other subject areas, becoming themselves learners. Students are actively engaged in exploring subject matters. Teachers help providing tools for examining multiple perspectives. Some of the learning techniques which can be used are collaborative learning, inquiry-based learning, learning portfolios, project-based learning, case studies, discussion groups, role-playing, just to name a few. Interdisciplinarity implies that instruction is flexible in terms of the time and focus. The interconnectness between subjects means that a specific slot of instructional time might be used to work different subjects. This approach is usually connected to students' use of reflective thinking, problem-solving and searching for meaning. Now take some time to reflect which of these approaches you already use in your lessons. Please pause the video. Sustainable development is a field where problems benefit from the expertise of different subjects. 
Its agenda is so broad and interconnected that it cannot be achieved by isolated subjects. Each curricular subject can contribute with models and concepts to help students understand and propose solutions for a given sustainability-related problem. The key is to incorporate the contributions from the different subjects so that it results in a cohesive and non-fragmented product. Curricular subjects benefit education for sustainable development, but ESD also supports the curriculum, as it provides examples and perspectives for innovating learning in curricular subjects and strengthens their meaningfulness in learning. Planning ESD initiatives involves six phases, the activation, the analysis, the planning, the design, the implementation, and the reflection phase. In an interdisciplinary approach, this process implies the involvement of all members of the school community, in supporting the project, in designing and implementing it, and in working as a team. This process is ongoing and affects the school community at the individual and organizational levels. For example, in the activation phase, it is crucial that all members of the school community are informed and on board with the project. This will ensure their active participation. The participation of the school community on the analysis phase sets the conditions for working towards a common goal. In the planning phase, the working team defines goals and priorities. In its turn, the design phase, the team's ideas, and suggestions are integrated into an action plan. The ideas are then implemented and, forward, the team reflects on the effectiveness of the plan and suggests modifications for future projects. To envision sustainable futures, students will need to take different subjects into consideration for discovering new ideas or methods. These competencies imply using different approaches, and different subjects, to get a bigger picture. In a nutshell, complex problems require complex solutions, which are unattainable by a single subject area. Some authors have focused on the school characteristics that facilitate the effectiveness of ESD, considering aspects such as sustainable leadership, school resources, pluralistic communication, supportive relations, collective efficacy, adaptability, democratic decision-making, and shared vision. Some of these key elements are pivotal to promote interdisciplinary work. Let us approach each one in more detail. When speaking about school resources, it is important to consider time management, to plan and schedule subjects and time slots, so that there is room to integrate ESD in different subjects. To reduce teachers' workload, one must consider an efficient and integrated planning. It is also crucial to consider the possibility of developing professional infrastructures, determining how educational professionals are organized and grouped, for example by grade level or by subject area. This will allow a pluralistic and holistic process of ESD. This can also reduce teachers' workload, by defining working groups and facilitating channels for supportive relations. Another important aspect of working together is pluralistic communication, recognizing different viewpoints and facilitating a dialogue between teachers from different subject areas. It is also crucial that all teachers hold a common understanding of ESD and the adjacent complex vocabulary. Another factor is supportive relations, facilitating teachers sharing knowledge and experiences with their colleagues, which promotes more knowledge and skills on ESD and a collective drive for action. In its turn, democratic decision-making signifies that the school is open to all teachers expressing their viewpoints, to think critically and reflect, which leads to an enrichment of the process and results of ESD. Another crucial point is the development of a shared vision of ESD. For that it is important that teachers communicate their understandings of ESD, reaching a common ground of ESD means to them and to the school and how they are working to incorporate ESD into the school. In addition to this, the building of collective efficacy is crucial, that is, if teachers feel that their efforts will have a positive impact on students' results and if have positive expectations of the students' and school achievements, they will feel more able to perform accordingly. Now. Please think about those factors and how they could be integrated at your school. If you want, take some notes or discuss with your colleagues. Please pause the video. In the scope of Sustain All, an Erasmus Plus project, good examples of practices that involve an interdisciplinary approach were collected. Let us see a real example of how to interconnect the curriculum into an ESD activity, reciting a poem and planting a tree. In sum, 
this module was devoted to the interdisciplinary approach, to its advantages in understanding complex situations and in searching for integrated solutions. In this module we approached barriers to implementing interdisciplinarity, such as limited time and resources. We also informed on quality practices in interdisciplinarity, such as thematic approach, the role of teachers as facilitators, the active involvement of students and the instructional flexibility. We then, explained the application of the interdisciplinary approach to ESD, its phases of planning and the factors that promote its implementation. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.